She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her She's a Mona Lisa Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a what's on my iPhone. I have the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And if y'all are new, um, definitely subscribe and join us. Uh, we're about to hit 200 subscribers, which is so exciting. This is a collab with uh, one of my dear YouTube friends and this is her channel. So y'all should definitely go check her out. We're both doing a what's on our iPhone and I hope y'all like this video. So to start off with, I have the basic one, um, calendar. And then that's literally just my calendar and um, today is Saturday and I'm uploading this tomorrow so it's going to be Sunday. So happy Sunday. And then um, my birthday is Thursday which is so exciting. Oh, okay. And then I have FaceTime which you know, is just regular old FaceTime. So in that folder I have um, Google Maps, Maps, Contacts find my iPhone in case I lose my stuff which I basically um, track my iPhone my AirPods and my Apple watch and my old iPod which I don't have anymore <laughs> and then I have voice memos I believe that's how you say it in calculator and so then I have clock which just I used to like wake up before like nine o'clock something because I don't want to stay up to like I was like sleeping too late. I mean, then I have notes, and then I have my Gmail, which is just Gmail, and then I have settings, and then I have this is the first one that's not like doesn't come with the iPhone, and so this is Camera Connect, and so basically Camera Connect um, lets you connect it to any camera, I believe. I connect it to my um, Canon 80D, and so I know it works, and so basically um, it's Bluetooth, and so I connect it, and then I just put cameras on image. And so when I do that, I basically can get access to all the cameras, all the cameras, all the photos, and I can just download them onto my phone, and then I can edit from there. And so I used to do that, or like I would screenshot for a thumbnail in the video, and so then um, I would download, download it, and then I would edit it from there. So if y'all use Canon, y'all can definitely use that. And then I have uh, Facebook, which, you know, Facebook's Facebook. <laughs> I have my photos which literally just photos and I've been downloading wallpapers from Pinterest which they're so cute yeah that one just didn't screenshot right but yeah that's <laughs> that and then I have um, camera and then I have snapchat and then I have PayPal which I use to um, I usually use PayPal to pay on like online stores and stuff like that because I don't want to put my credit card directly to it or like I don't want to type it in and so I have my PayPal information saved so I just automatically put buy and so it automatically buys it for me I don't know it's just easier for me and then I have Instagram oh wait so last time I posted was in Feb January yeah when I was up in London or sideways London whatever Anywho, and then I have Lightroom, which that's where I edit all my pictures. And so I'm actually working on my um, next thumbnail for my unboxing of my iPad, which will be up soon. And so that's a little um, hint, hint, you know. <laughs> and so then I have um, my Arvis Go, which obviously I use for my bank information. And then I have TikTok. I love TikTok. I use TikTok all the time. Not all the time, but I really... So, I really don't get on a lot. And so, yeah, but that's me. And then I have Fonto, which that is where I uh, create all my thumbnails, which is super easy. And then I have uh, Pinterest, which that's where I get all my wallpapers and, like, room decor ideas, which are so cute. And then um, you can get a lot of stuff off of Pinterest, like room decor, um, hair color, and stuff like that. And so, yeah, there's literally a lot of ideas on there. And then I have YouTube, which it's YouTube. And then I have um, YouTube Studio, which that is where I'm able to, like, track my information for YouTube, which is really cool. So if you're new to YouTube, definitely check that out. And then I have Tube Bunny, Tube, bu Tube Buddy, which is almost the exact same. And you can definitely check out how your views go up. And that's really cool. And you can answer right here your messages and then it gives you milestones as well so that's really cool to keep up with and then I have YouTube tracker which um, 
it tracks information too and then oh and i use this one to track your um monetization stuff which is really cool and then i have shop arrive which shop arrive basically um sometimes it connects automatically to your gmail or your mail and um it tracks your um stuff you've ordered if not you just put the little plus and then you put your tracking number package name carrier and then you add it and so you can track all your shipments there which is really cool and then these are my other folders and my wallpaper right now is enjoy it all i'm sorry did i even show you my wallpaper so my wallpaper when i open it is um little peaches which is so cute at the bottom i have obviously my phone and then safari and then my messages and then my app store so in these folders i have uh let's go into the socials one i have messenger twitter shazam which if you hear music and you want to know what it is you just go into that and then you tap that um you tap it and it basically um tries to generate or like load the video or the video the basically the music it tries to get in the music for you so you can download it so that's really cool too so then i have netflix and i have spotify which i don't use as much and then i have whatsapp which I don't use as much either. And um, I have Trending. And then I have Music. And then I have Pandora. That's it. And then I go to Food. And then I have Food. I have Chick-fil-A. Um, Tropical Smoothie. Subway. McDonald's. My CC's. And Starbucks. And Sonic. So basically I have these. Because all of these pretty much have rewards. And so I purchase from the app. And then I get rewards. And I end up getting free stuff. And so Chick-fil-A I have gotten free. Um chicken burger thingies and so <laughs> i've gotten like two or three and then chicken nuggets you get free stuff all the time and so definitely do that mcdonald's always has coupons for like a dollar large fries or a dollar free fries or like buy four piece chicken nuggets and get a free medium fry or something like that and then i have my editors which i have i haven't tried ash but um that's to like make stories and stuff like that and you can probably make your thumbnails from there too and so then I have preview, which preview is, um, it's linked to your Instagram and you can basically upload pictures. You see the top three I have not uploaded. I was just messing around. And so it just kind of gives you a preview of what your Instagram will look like. So I thought that was really cool. And then I have a uh, made, which is, I believe to make stories too. I don't want to go into detail with it because I have not used it. And so I'm not sure how it's supposed to use, how you're supposed to use it, but basically it gives you templates and stuff. So I downloaded it, but just haven't used it. Then I have story sheet, which again, I think it's to make stories as well. And then I have video star, which um, my intro actually made that. And um, I downloaded a girl's um, clip, like a little bit of it, just like the, the tiny bit of it. And I inserted it in there. Basically, I watched a YouTube video, how to make it. And so that's, it was really simple. Just follow the steps. I have a pocket video, which is the same thing, basically. Um, I use both of those and I use Fonto to create my um, intro. And then I have Cut Me In, which I believe is, is not like a little girl game. That's what it looks like. But um, I believe this one was for like, obviously to cut like an image out and then insert it in somewhere. And then I have Pick Art, which that's also where I edit some of my thumbnails. And then I have iMovie, which I don't use the one on my phone. I use the one on my laptop too, or to edit my videos. So yeah, but you can definitely, use for, oh, I actually used the one on my phone to do my intro, I think. So that's why I had it here. So then I have shop, which I have my shopping things that I use to shop. And so I have Etsy, which is a, um, it's kind of like homemade stuff or like where they sell shirts, like homemade with like designs and stuff like that, or earrings. You can pretty much get anything there. Then I have Nike, Nike or Nike, however y'all say it. And then I have Shin, Shine, Shin. <laughs> and then I have Ulta. And then I have Amazon and then American Eagle and then I have Michaels, eBay, and Sephora. And by the way, if y'all didn't know, I have a discount for y'all from Shen. So y'all should definitely check that out. I'll leave it in the link below. And I'll also, um, the video, I don't know what side it shows up. But um, y'all can click it and watch it. And so then, if y'all want, of course. And so then I have Victoria's Secret and then Walmart and DHK. And then I have Business, which I have Venmo my mail and then outlook and then cash app and then adp mobile which is like a paying app kind of i use it from all job and then i have real card which is also a bank google drive i have travel which i have united um seat guru seat guru you basically go in there and you put your airline 
Leaving, and then you put the date you're leaving, I believe, your departure, and then your flight number, which it's really easy to use. It tells you where you're gonna be seated, if like you're gonna be seated by a window or on the edge or in the middle, and it basically kind of gives you an idea of how big your airplane is, I believe. If it was this app. <laughs> Um, and then I have Currency Connect, which basically um, changes the currency. So, so if you're traveling, obviously, like, if I go to, like, $1, maybe. Oh, shoot. <laughs> $1 is a dollar and point eight six point zero eight six, whatever. Um, oh, zeros to dollars. Okay. So, basically, yeah, it gives you the currency rate or whatever. And so, I have Flight Tracker, which you can track your flight, which is really cool as well. And then I have mobile pass, which you can put your information in, and this will basically give you a picture of your passport in case you lose it. So that's important, especially if you need it to get back home or something. And it's just easier to like just scan. And so then I have Expedia, which I use to book um, um, flights, which it gives you a really good deal on it. So y'all should definitely check that out. And then I have British Airways, which is what I use to fly to London. And then I have my TSA, which Basically, you can look up questions if you like bring in a hair dryer and don't know if you can bring it. You can definitely look here and it'll show you. It'll tell you if you can or not. Like binoculars, you can bring those in check bags and carry on bags. You can pretty much look up anything unless you are here. Brass instruments, you cannot bring them on carry ons, but you can check with the airlines and then you, it can go in your check bag. So definitely, like, if you have information you don't know, look it up. Then I have executive rewards, which I think looks like flight rewards as well, but I don't have any, so I don't know why I have that, but yeah. And so then I have couch surfing and Hostel World. Found these apps, and I really want to, like, try solo traveling. And so I found these apps. Like, couch surfing is basically you're staying at someone's house. You sleep, like, in a room or something. And um, you can look up stuff that I didn't really, that one didn't really catch my attention. It was hostile that caught my attention more. And so this one is like, let's say I go to, these are the ones I've looked up. Um, like if I go back to London, you put London and then it shows you where you can stay for like really cheap. And then other people stay there as well. Like other people, like other random people, travelers. And so y'all can pretty much share um, a hostel and it shows you pictures and stuff. I don't know, I saw one before that was like really cool. Can't find it anymore. And they have like little mini clubs and stuff like that. So I thought that was cute. Anywho. And so then I have education, which I have Socratic. Socratic, which basically I use this for college. And I can take a picture of anything basically and I'll scan it. Or like a question I can search the question like um, let's say where is Africa and so where's Africa the continent of Africa borders this is basically what shows up when you scan the picture and I believe it has to be like typed question it can't be written but yeah basically it tells me where Africa is <laughs> and so then you can also um, tell her where is Africa and so then she looks it up as well. So that's really cool. And so then I have Uno Days, which this is a app that basically it kind of gathers all the college discounts you can get and stuff like that. So I think that's really cool. So I have Apple, Tar, Old Navy, American Eagle. And yeah, you can look a lot. I looked up makeup the other day, see if Sephora had one, but they didn't. But I know Mac has one. So if you order from Mac directly, you get 10% off a student discount. And so microsoft has one as well 10 percent off student discount and so y'all can look up all here i believe you have to make an account and then put connected with your college um email like the dot edu i believe yeah that definitely but yeah that one saves you money and then i have polls which this one um is connected to my school and it basically tells me what i have to do today and stuff like that so yesterday i had a poetry essay do basically tells me what i have to do um, it gathers it together and then yeah, it gives you my grade and stuff like that. So let's see. Let's click on a good one that I know I did good on. May 7th. Yeah. Oh, shoot. That was <laughs> the right one. Um, <laughs> that's not right. Hold up. There you go. That's the correct one. It's the exact same one. I just basically short story long long story short um 
when I did this one, uh, my teacher basic. Okay, so I did it in a rush the night it was due, and I didn't have enough time to do it basically, and so I kind of guessed. And so um, I was telling her like I had an 89.41, so obviously that was in the roundup, and it was going to be showing on my transcript transcript as B. So I was like, mm, because I stopped trying. I don't know what happened to me, but um, don't stop trying. But anywho, um, I talked to her and she was like, yeah, you can redo. Um, she was giving me two of them to redo because on that one I made a 39 or something because I really didn't do any of it. And it was hard. It really was. Um, but I redid it and got an A. And so now I have a 90.41 almost. It's 90.4, something like that. Anywho, I have an A. An A is an A. So it's going to be an A on my transcript. So that's all good. So then I have Hello Talk, which basically this is an app you can text people and stuff like that, and then you can learn um, languages and stuff like that, which is really cool. They can communicate in different languages, and yeah, basically. So then I have Duolingo, which also is to learn languages, which I want to learn. I was trying to learn Portuguese, yeah. And so I was doing it, and then I stopped doing it. Basically, you get like five little lives or whatever each day, I believe, and so yeah portuguese or spanish or whatever you want to choose which is really cool like if we do plurals let's see have we done have done food let's just do it here so maybe later and so basically when you get in it it gives you this so a girl orders a water a girl orders water and so a mocha come agua a menina pide agua don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but I think it's the last one because I remember doing this and I'm pretty sure girl means Nina or something like that. So I need to check and it's correct. So yeah, so basically that's that. Oh, and then I have Word. And so then I have my extra. So right here I have my compass. Compass? Compass? Compass. Compass. I think it's compass. I'm pretty sure it's compass. And then I have measure, which measures stuff. And I believe this one's like a... Um, a leveler thingy. I think it levels. I don't know. Anywho, and then I have Apple Apple TV, which I use to um, connect to the actual TV in the living room and move it around from there. Then I have a wallet, and then I have my watch, my settings and stuff that I move for my watch. And then I have activity, which is where I track all my activity, and I haven't been doing much, so I don't want to open that. <laughs> so then I have Clue, which Clue basically... Um, tracks my periods which I go in there and it tracks it and it kind of like gives you an estimate of when your next one is so I think that's really cool you know just to like keep in track with your stuff and so then I have health which comes with the iPhone and then I have characters which is when I use for like my Instagram bio and stuff so these are like my most recent ones so you can get like letters and then you can get um, numbers arrows stars and then pretty much everything you can just copy it and go and then I have files and I have Dropbox and then I have my fitness pal which is like you track your meals and then it tells you like you put in the calories you want to eat a day and then it tracks see if you're going good and then if you eat like a bag of chips it'll tell you oh that's fat you know like you're supposed to stay under this amount of fat and whatnot like and then it tracks your weight it's like it's pretty good it tracks your water and everything so yeah and then I have podcasts and then I have photo vault which I'm keeping my progress pictures in and then I have um bible the holy bible and then that is it, you guys so that is all I have on my iPhone so I'll see y'all next time I hope you like this video and so if y'all liked it uh please like this video and subscribe and I'll see y'all next time bye everyone's lining up to see her. there must be something bad See her walking down the boulevard She got the posture of a superstar